I'm going to go to the next question. This was a really good question I thought from last week. And they asked me, this is dealing with low or no stress cybersecurity jobs. Do they exist? Is it possible to find an information system security job that isn't completely draining? That is a great question. The reason why that's a great question is because cybersecurity can be pretty stressful. Why? There's not a lot of us doing this work, so there's a lot of scope creep. Sometimes the organization, what they'll do is they'll overpromise and then they'll compensate by overworking the people that's there. It's really annoying. Another thing is that with information system security officer work, um, I know a lot of guys who, who I talk to who are IT guys, pure IT guys, and then they switch over to security compliance and they hate it. They hate, hate, hate it. And the reason why is because you have to deal with all kinds of people. Difficult people, people who, who, are, who don't know anything about IT, people who think they know about IT, but they want to tell you how to do your job. They think they know everything, so you can't tell them anything. You have to deal with each one. You've got to navigate all these different kinds of people. Like if you're working on just a router and a network, how many people are you talking to if you're in a clean room? You know what I mean? If, if you're working in a comm closet right, all day long, you know, working with wires or something, you don't have to work with people that much. It's actually pretty refreshing. But when you have to work with people a lot, you got to deal with a lot of different attitudes and it's just very stressful sometimes. So the question is, is there an information system security or a security job, cybersecurity job period that's not so completely draining? And the answer is yes. I've had a few jobs like this. I just wanted to share with you guys my experience with these types of jobs and how you can kind of find them. So let me show you. Let me show you kind of what I put together here. I've worked these jobs before, and what I noticed is three things. Either they're small organizations dealing with low to medium impact systems. Like the system goes down, nobody's going to die, right? It's not going to cause a national security incident if the system goes down. Another one is they're usually well organized. Like I work with organizations that are not small organizations. They do work on very important projects, but they're very well organized, and they don't allow scope creep. They break if they'll hire more people. If if there's a problem and they don't try to overtax their people by throwing 15 different hats on the same dude or putting all the pressure on their smart, hardworking people, right, which is a lot of organizations do, unfortunately, they'll hire more people in. They'll hire more people because they're like, OK, well, why do you know we we're not greedy. We're OK with hiring more people. Right. Some organizations, they won't hire anybody. And because that's it's going to affect their money. So they just keep putting more hats on people, making people do more work, which sucks. And then great companies, I noticed, will not overpromise clients. That is a big one. So if you're looking for a cybersecurity job with low or no stress, look for one of these things. Small organizations with some low impact systems, you can ask them that on the interview. Like, what kind of systems do you guys have? Like, very important systems with the Department of Defense? Or do you guys have, like, low impact systems? What kinds of systems will I be dealing with? And how many systems will you give me? Right? That's another big one. So, small organizations, they usually take care of their people better, too. Like, people aren't a number yet. You know, like, your Northrop Grumman's, your Lockheed, your SCICs. They're so huge, everybody's just a number, right? These are multi-billion dollar international companies. You're just a number to them. They'll replace you in three seconds if you leave. The other one is well-organized roles. They don't allow scope creep. They, everybody has a role. They don't allow you to have multiple hats. So if you do, you have maybe two hats. They don't keep putting hats on you, and they don't try to overburden the people who do all the work, the smart guys. And then great companies, they don't usually overpromise clients, I've noticed. So... I've worked for a couple good ones that had low or no stress or stress comes every now and then, but it wasn't that bad, right? It was, it was manageable, but I've also had the opposite where there's too much work. They have real difficult clients that they're not dealing with effectively. They're in a bad situation where the contract is like they're given Cadillac service and then they're given Pinto service and they're, you know, they made the contract dollars very low, but they're having us do way more work for very low contract money. And then they're not allowing us to do more because they don't have the money. They didn't get the contract going. So it's, it's, it's a real difficult situation when that happens. Really difficult. Because you want to please the client, but it's like if the company doesn't have the money to do it, 
you know, it's very stressful because then the client starts getting pissed off that you're not meeting their requirements or whatever or not well enough and you can't give them extra hours because the contract doesn't allow it. So that's a pain. But yeah, you can't find low, no stress jobs. I've had them before where the stress is, is very little. Okay, I'm gonna switch gears here and answer a couple more questions. Somebody said, frankly, I really enjoy very much the governance side of cybersecurity. Running C SARS, which is a security assessment reports, and PMO or ad hoc projects is pretty fun and easy. Once I established myself, it became a breeze. Yeah, it's very easy to do. That's I can agree with that, Anthony. I agree with that. Cyber job, little or no stress. Devron said, cyber job with little or no stress. A security operations analyst graveyard shift, LOL. <laughs> I'm just telling you my experience. That was just, I, you know, I had a couple that had very little stress. I mean, a little stress compared to what I have now. These days, it's, it's pretty ridiculous. Oh, cybersecurity analyst. Cybersecurity assessment of risk. Okay, okay, that's a, that's a new one for me. Assessment of risk. Oh, a CSA. SCA is what I've called it of what I've heard it called. Let me see. Anthony says, agreed. Separation of duty is crucial. No scope creep. Man, amen to that. My Lord. Anthony says, uh, if the cyber job is on the ops side, it is a ton of stress. On the governance side, it isn't. The PKIs are different. The ops side is sexy and exciting, while the governance side is pretty laid back. Yeah, that's a great point. Anthony brings up a really good point. The ops side is you've got deadlines you've got security incidents to happen like you got to get take care of it now okay let's get this let's isolate this system disconnect it from the network get the c cert team over here to isolate this and make sure we get this malware off the system who did this i want to know right now who sent this thing out what happened what did they click on right it's just it can be stressful right and people are blaming each other and stuff like that it's kind of annoying the op side is where i'm working now and it's it's actually I'm a I'm a consultant right now and it's oh my god it's stressful sometimes man I'm I'm not loving it <laughs> I'm not loving it man I'm not loving it it was fun at first but now it's like they're like this guy can do stuff give him more stuff here here's more stuff here you go here you go here's more stuff for you I'm like oh my god this is I'm not loving it guys <laughs> 